This week's Wharf and Chips, we are at Bystronic UK, who have recently joined MTD, well known for their laser machines and their press brakes. I think it's time to find out more about these machines. We've got a pressing engagement with Mark. Martin, you've had a, a phenomenal amount of time in the industry working with press brakes, 27 years, so there's probably not much you don't know about them, but could you just tell our viewers a little bit about some of the products you've got here at your open house? Right, yes, certainly. This is the Exact Smart. Uh, we do this in uh, three models, uh, 100 tonne, 3 metre, 160 tonne, 3 metre, and also up to a 225 tonne, 4 metre. Um, it's a four axis back gauge, six axis machine, uh, it's got the same control that we've got uh, throughout the range. So from the Express, which is the entry level, to the Exact Smart, up to the top of the range Expert, they've all got the same control. Uh, this particular machine's got a uh, hydraulic crowning on the lower bed um, that will activate during the bending cycle uh, for, for crowning. Uh, it's got the quick release Euro style top tooling, um, the, the Faisal light guards, which activate below the tooling. Uh, for, for our engineers that are watching this show, what does uh, 100 tonnes actually mean in reference to the type of material and the thickness? Right, so typically with a 100 tonne um, machine, you'd be looking at folding up to three mil over the full three metres, uh, or slightly, obviously thicker, but in shorter lengths. So you've got 100 tonnes of hydraulic force. Wow, that's, that's impressive. Moving on to some of the other machines that you've got here. Is, uh, I'm quite intrigued. In, in, this is quite a showpiece, isn't it, in reference to you know, what you've been demonstrating here at Bystronic. Yeah, this is the Expert Pro 150. So it's a 150 tonne, 3.1 metre, but it's um, our showroom machine. So what we've done is, is show you a lot of the um, different um, features and uh, options that we've got. First option, it's got extended daylight and stroke. So if you have a look at the actual opening height, it's an extra 200 millimeters of daylight and stroke. Uh, the benefit for that is obviously you'll be able to put uh, bigger tools so you can get deeper boxes or give the operator more work in height. And I think it's great when you see the array of different press brakes you've got here, you know, to have some of this uh, sophisticated uh, stuff on it, you know, obviously you've really sort of demonstrates to, to some of the people coming in. But, you know, finally, you know, one thing that I really like about uh, the industry is how fast it's progressing. Now, this to me uh, is the first automated um, press brake that I've actually seen. But tell us a little bit about this design and, uh, and the benefits of it. So, so this, uh mobile bending robot was designed to work with the Expert 40 and the Expert 80 machines which are uh, again designed to be fast, fast moving and the idea with behind the mobile bending robot was that if you had the production that you were able to very quickly between five and ten minutes attach the robot to the machine and get you folding with using the, the mobile robot. And, and do you do uh, a big, bigger uh, mobile so, devices? Yes. So not in terms of the mobile robot, but in terms of automation systems, we, we will do up to 320 tonne, four metre machines with robot cells, so fully automated robot cells with automatic tool changing systems uh, and automatic head changing, so that you're able to fold not just the same part, but a number of different other parts as well. Bit of a game changer? Yeah, very much so, um, and we've had a lot of interest and uh, you know a lot of excitement around this machine, and, and and also in terms of automation as well. We see that as very much the future. And it's only the first day. Thanks, Martin. No problem. Now, uh, Connor's going to be talking to one of the partners, Atlas Copco. As we've already said, premium lasers, premium press brakes. We found out a bit about press brakes from Mark, but it's also about the partners. Now, to run a fibre laser, correct me if I'm wrong, you do need assisted gases such as nitrogen, and one of your and one of Bytronic's preferred partners, Andrew from Atlas Copco. What do you do? Atlas Copco, design, manufacture, and service nitrogen generators. Um, we are, the, as you mentioned, the premium partner of Bytronic. And we're here today to discuss why consider on-site gas generation. Traditionally, laser, laser users use liquid or bottled supply of gas. But we're so here you see them travelling down the motorway, big canisters in the back of the van. Big canisters in the back of the van. Right. Yeah. And we're here today to discuss how you can become your independent 
supplier, you can be your own generator. Oh, of right, gas. So actually, on site generation of nitrogen. On site generation of nitrogen at your own plant. You can control your purity right. depending on your application, so you're not paying for more than what you need. Right. Why would you want to change your purity? It depends on your cutting. So it depends if you're cutting um, mild steel for right. a pharmaceutical manufacturing application. Okay, so it's a, as we like to say on Swarfer Chips, application specific. Application it is. Application specific. Okay, yeah. so it's just a very brief look at Atlas Copco, on site generation of your assisted gases. Is that right? Yeah, so nitrogen uses assisted cutting gas in the lasers. Um, so we have a new generation of uh, nitrogen generators, and those generators produce 99.99% purity for the laser. There you go, so keeping it super efficient. Andrew, thank you very much eco-friendly and reducing emissions and stopping all those vans hurling, hurtling down the motorway with canisters on the back. Thank you very much. Cheers. And what we're going to do now is look at another partner of Bystronics. Paul, you're a partner to Bystronic UK and automation is very key. Now, I understand this is a new system from Interroll. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so although we're well known for other areas of conveying and handling, product handling, this is a brand new product that's been launched this year uh, after four years of research and development. Uh, it's already won two awards pre-release uh, within Europe um, and its key purpose is to handle pallets to and from manufacturing process areas uh, amongst other things. Now a lot of people say that these uh, probably look quite simple systems but what's the USP of this new system? So the USP for this system unlike other, any other conventional pallet handling system which would normally have drive motors um, controlling the conveyor rollers and a control system as well as guarding and fencing you don't need any of that with the smart pallet mover. So the smart pallet mover relies on these uh, gravity roller beds um, and then we have a mover that moves with inside the frames of the conveyor to then drive the product that's on top to wherever it's got to go. And obviously you're, you're here at their open house uh, talking about new machines, but can this uh, system be actually fitted to existing machines on shop floors? Absolutely, it could be retrofitted onto any other system, machine tending robots or any other biostronic system. Uh, as well as fitting nicely into human assembly operations or machine tending robots, that kind of thing. Well, obviously you've got a, a rich heritage uh, in automation in other areas. I'm sure you're going to be quite successful. Thanks very much for that. Thank now, you. Colin is going to be learning a little bit about lasers. OK, we managed to speak to Martin and some of the partners at Biostronic, but we want to find out more about this, which is a bi-tube at 130. What does it do? It's a laser cutter for tubes. Simple as that, but we were going to speak to Gabriel, who's been rushed off his feet all day. He's going through a presentation at the moment, so I'm going to have to impart my wisdom upon you. So, this machine will cut bar or tube up to one, well, 6.5 metres in length. Now, at the end, once it's been cut, up to 4 metres the other end, they've actually got a, a support in there, so you can retain that accuracy of the components. Now, Liam's busy, and in fact, bless him, this is only the second time we let Liam loose, so hopefully this camera quality is good, but you can see the different profiles here. So. L shape there, V, circular, square, and the thicknesses. This will cut 10 mil up to 130 mil in diameter. The actual laser itself, two kilowatt or three kilowatt. Now thinking, not really as powerful as a fiber laser. Well, it obviously is a fiber laser, but because if you cut through one side, you don't want to go all the way through and cut through the other side. So simple, but that's, what it, that's, why, that's why they're not as powerful. Now, a couple of things they've got in this machine. They've got the laser scan, and what that means is no pipe or tube, keep the same pipe, no tube is perfectly straight. So this accounts for that and maintains the accuracy of the cutting. And something that's unique to this machine is a quick cut system. So essentially the axis, the laser will move on the X axis to ensure either more speed or more accuracy. So that is your bi tube 130. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at their flagship machine, which is the Bystar Fibre, and this one. 12 kilowatts, so a huge machine. And when I say huge machine, you're looking in here. Now I need to get this right. This is three meters by 1.5, so a huge, huge bed. You're thinking that's big, and it's a 12 kilowatt laser. They get a lot bigger, so this will go up to eight meters by 2.5. So some huge sheets of metal. Now just little things in here. In here, you've got the a nozzle holder. It will hold a row of eight and eight rows. So by my basic simple mass. 64 so it's almost like sister tooling and with those nozzles you can have and let me just quickly delve in here a whole range of nozzles that you can use and this is an example of an f type and this is where it compresses the gas so it makes it more efficient there you go come on work the camera man is that all right liam give me a shake of the head he gave me a shake of the head 
So this will make you more efficient in your cutting if required. All sorts of materials, and these will do the shiny materials well where there used to be problems. Now, another point, I said 12 kilowatt, we'll go up to 15 kilowatt. The machine itself, how fast is it? 169 meters per minute. So that is exceptionally fast. What does it need to do that? Linear drives. But you've got a big bridge moving there. So is it going to retain accuracy? It certainly is. It is super, super accurate. And they've redesigned it, so it's super, super rigid. So that's what you can expect from their flagship machine, the Bystar Fiber. Now, I'm going to drag Mark in. Come on, Mark. We've had a wander around. I'm a bit exhausted. It's been a long day, but a fantastic day. We've had a look at their, their lasers, their press brakes. Anything else to add? Not really. I mean, I think the machines speak for themselves. You know, they're a great brand, great service, great backup. And, you know, when you look at products like this, you know, cutting some of this material, you know, I mean, it's phenomenal and the speed yeah. of it. So, you know, also having automation on the um, bending machines as well, you know, the press yeah. brakes, it's a bit of a game changer. I've not seen that for a long time, but what a fabulous open house. It most certainly is. So, we like to say keeping our spindles turning, but I think these guys are keeping the sparks flying and the presses bending, press breaking, bending maybe. Yeah, absolutely. Hope you've enjoyed this this week's Warford Chips and a quick look around Bystronic.